Let's go to Andy in Florida. Andy, what's going on, pal? Pat, how you doing, man? My uh, my condolences to your arteries based on yesterday's event. Thank you. I appreciate it. Cl- Clyde called me fat, by the way. Did you hear him do it? <laughs> Clyde Christian. Wow. Yeah, he did. I mean, he did. That's what he said. He said I was fat. Uh, my question, uh, with sports being on pause with the coronavirus and uh, NASCAR doing stuff like iRacing and the Simulation Football League, you know, putting people on the field as players, are you a fan of using video games to kind of fill some of the TV space with sports being on pause? And would you ever consider broadcasting an esports football game? Great question, Andy. Great points as well about my arteries and the entertainment that is happening. I think right now in the world that we're in, anything that can take people's mind off of the, the hell that is potentially happening around the world, I am a fan of. So the iRacing, the simulated games, uh, Kyle Van Noy is giving away 2053 uh, bucks. I think, on a daily basis playing games. Gamers are really thriving and striving at the moment. So I appreciate them kind of putting... Um, not on for their their sports, which is the eSport, but also for the community of people that are just trying to be distracted. So I like this a lot. I, I like the idea. Now, granted, me watching it, I want to punch myself in the face. I, I just, I can't get into it. I don't, I don't know. I wish, I didn't play video games growing up, so maybe that's my problem. I used to watch Jay and the boy, his friends play Halo and stuff, and I would hate watching, you know, like while watching it, I'd be like, well, why don't you get, uh, I'm out of here. I, I don't like, I don't enjoy it personally. But I have found myself, watching clips of that i racing that nascar is doing i assume indycar is going to try to get involved if they haven't already i have seen clips of it and i respect it and it, it makes me think aside from the some races get up 150 200 people that come to it most races have next to nobody going to them but let, why isn't this potentially the full-time racing i mean if they if their numbers are up and you don't have to risk losing a million dollars every time your car crashes and it, people are still what Hey, it feels like a supply demand is at a, about the same level. There's no overhead. You don't have to worry about, you know, mechanics and cars and, and uh, engineering. And a lot safer, too. And it's, it's a lot mm-hmm. safer. You can just wreck your car whenever. And then, by the way, just drop me in one of those races. You can drop a random into one of those races against your NASCAR people. Now we're talking about a fan engagement experience. Maybe this is... Maybe this is how NASCAR becomes relevant again. Maybe this is how IndyCar becomes relevant for the first time maybe since the 70s. Maybe this is how racing gets back on the grand stage. You let random buffoons who are notable into the races and see how they fare. Because there's not risk anybody's. Because I always ask, why can't I race an IndyCar? Like, well, it costs a million dollars a car. I say, okay, if I get a million dollars, can I get into an IndyCar and, and try to go, you know, with the ladies and the guys? Like, well, you could kill somebody. I'm like, obviously, because they're strapping themselves to a rocket. That is very true. I do not have a rebuttal for that. So I would always just back off. I would always back off like, all right, I could kill somebody. With this, though, you put me in a car there. It doesn't matter that I'm 260 pounds and they're all 130 pounds. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter about the weight difference. It's just about who can drive, who can do that. And you don't have to worry about killing anybody. I mean, I, I think this has been a smart move for them. And it might make me more interested. But overall, I do not enjoy watching video game stuff. I think it works for that, but you're right. Like I, I'll watch an old NFL game. Like if the Packers are playing, I have no interest in watching someone commentate like a game of Madden. No interest in doing that. Last night's Denver indie game was a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, like, like I, I, I definitely watched that. I enjoyed watching. I forgot how good that team was. We had a nasty defense. Eric Walton, funniest guy I've ever been around, was on that defense. He was unbelievable. That game was an awesome game. Awesome night. Obviously, you beat Peyton in this homecoming. I think I only had like 10 punts inside the 20 or something. Like that. <laughs> no, I did have a big game. Good night to have a big game. Good night to have a big game.